students of class 5 it's our math class and today we'll try and solve few questions from exercise 2.5 by using the properties of multiplication so let's get started so dear students you can see we have six balls and one candy in each so what's the total count of the candies 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so that means when we take six balls and one candy in each the total count of candies we get is 6 so we can say 6 multiplied by 1 equals 6 and here we are given boxes let's count them horizontally 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven and eight, and vertically we have only one box. So the count of all the boxes is eight. We can put it as eight multiplied by one equals eight. Here we have vertical paper strips. They are nine in number. Let's place a horizontal strip over them, and by doing that we get. intersecting points they are 9 in number so it means when 9 paper strips are cut with one horizontal strip the intersecting points are 9 9 multiplied by 1 equals 9 so students we have learned that any number multiplied by 1 equals the same number and that way 75 multiplied by 1 what will be the answer as we know that a number multiplied by 1 equals the same number and this property of multiplication applies to all the numbers so 75 multiplied by 1 equals 75 the same number itself Exercise 2.5 First question part A 451 multiplied by 1 equals a blank So what do we get by multiplying 451 by 1 Yes it's the same number 451 Now it's part O 798 multiplied by a blank equals 798 so with what number do we multiply 798 and we get the same number as our answer yes the number is 1 798 multiplied by 1 equals 798 now students here we have four flower pots and there are no flowers in them we can put it as 4 multiplied by 0 now what's the count of flowers none as there are no flowers so we'll show 0 for the count of flowers so we learned 4 multiplied by 0 equals 0 now if we take out the candies from these balls we are left with how many candies none we can write it as 6 balls each having no candy and the count for total candies is 0 so we learn 6 multiplied by 0 equals 0 in this example if i take out the horizontal strip we are only left with 9 vertical strips we'll write it as 9 multiplied by 0 now you see when there are no horizontal strips there are no intersecting points they are zero so what we learn we learn that 9 when multiplied by 0 equals 0 from all these examples we learn that when any number is multiplied by 0 the answer is zero always and this property of multiplication applies to all the numbers Let's understand it with a two digit number 75 multiplied by 0 what will be the answer 
yes we get zero as our answer exercise 2.5 part d 3090 multiplied by 0 equals a blank now what will be the answer let there be any large number but when it is multiplied by 0 it becomes a zero so 3090 multiplied by 0 equals 0 part g dash multiplied by 791 equals 0 Now dear students we have learned that when a number is multiplied by 0 the product is 0 so here we'll write 0 in the box So dear students homework for today is that you will solve first question fill in the blanks part A D G and O on your notebooks thank you so much